Hello, how are you? I am back again and today I am talking about five Jo Malone floral fragrances you really need to try. <laughs> so these are my five favourite Jo Malone florals. I think they're all wonderful. We've got kind of everything from the rich, the dark, the kind of more ambery, incense -y floral to like a kind of sexy, moody nighttime floral to kind of like a really light, soft, elegant, breezy floral and kind of everything in between. These are my personal favourites. There are other florals in the Jo Malone collection. But these are the ones that I really think are just so important, so beautiful, and I think you need to try them. So <laughs> let's crack on. So the first one I want to chat about is probably my favourite ever Jo Malone perfume. It is Red Roses. I love this one. It's so beautiful. It's so classic. It's so perfect. It was invented, created? created I guess by Jo Malone herself back in the day when she was the head perfumer and I just love this one it's it's rich and heady and filled with just gorgeous gorgeous red roses a hint of lemon woodsy honey base it's truly it's truly magical it goes on all day long it is the most long-lasting long-wearing floral fragrance ever it's Oh, it's just a joy. It's just, it gets better and better and better as well. It's got this freshness, it's got this classicness, and it's just, I think, perfect. I think it's one of the best, best, best perfumes from Jo Malone. I adore it. I have worked my way through quite a few bottles, and I just love, love, love wearing it. And also, a little does go a long way. So, I have had this bottle for maybe like two years now, and I have worn it a lot, <laughs> but I've still got loads left. So, that's my first one. The next one I want to talk about is Poppy and Barley. Now this was part of, oh, I love this one, the Spring Limited Edition collection. That's why it's in a limited edition bottle, but it has since been introduced into the main Jo Malone collection. So this is a 30ml bottle, but now you can buy it as a 100ml bottle. I would recommend going for the 100ml bottle because it's so good. You're gonna want more than 30 ml 30 ml for me just, I run out too quickly. I tend to put it in my handbag. I tend to travel with it more. I don't know. I just seem to spritz more liberally when it's 30 mils. But I love this one. It's got blackcurrant, poppy, and barley. And it's kind of florally. It's kind of earthy. It's kind of dry. It's just magical. It's so beautiful. When this came out, it sold out really quick. And I kind of was like, I really wanted to be introduced into the main collection. And when they finally announced that it was coming back and coming back for good, I was overjoyed. I love it. It's perfect. It's gorgeous. If you haven't tried Poppy and Barley and you're a Jo Malone fan, seriously, hurry up. It's truly just everything I love about Jo Malone. It's fresh. It's elegant. It's unique. It's simple. It's just, it's just fabulous and perfect. And I just, I love, love, love this one. Next, I want to talk about wild bluebells. I'm sorry, I don't have, I don't have one to show you. I have run out. I had the hair mist. It was gorgeous. My hair used to smell so good when I was wearing it. And actually it was really good as a hair mist, but actually I kind of spritzed it a little bit elsewhere. And I just wore it as a perfume, but it was gorgeous. It kind of had this vintage feel kind of almost like violets and powdery was filled with notes of bluebell persimmon whatever that is and white musk but it was kind of just like gorgeous vintage florally fragrance quite powdery quite musky quite lovely had a hint of sweetness which was like very much from kind of like sweet violets or like sweet pea or something it was so, so, so pretty. I really need to buy another bottle. It was truly unique and very vintage, very soft, very beautiful. It was like snow white in an enchanted forest. Do you know what I mean? It was special. I need to buy another bottle. I need to hurry it up, buy myself another bottle. So the next one I want to talk about is brand new. I have done a dedicated video to this love it I'm already obsessed I'm wearing it now it's truly 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 gorgeous 
It is wisteria and lavender. It is filled with notes of wisteria, lavender, and musk. It reminds me a little bit of poppy and barley. It's kind of a soft, light floral. It has a hint of like herbiness, almost a hint of mint in it. It's kind of just soft and powdery and beautiful and I don't know, just really, really, really special. Again, I think it has a little bit of a vintage twist, which I adore, but it's elegant, it's airy and lovely and perfect for spring. And it's truly, it's truly delightful and just very chic, very natural, very lovely, very soft and powdery and fresh like the morning. I love it, I think it's gorgeous. I hope it sticks around for longer than just a limited edition collection. It is only available as a 30 ml perfume. It's only available at while stocks last. I will put the link below, but if you want to go and try it, you should pop into a German store soon and give it a go. I have a feeling this one's gonna be very popular. Obviously, I haven't tried the other ones, but I can't imagine a more beautiful rendition, would that be the right word, of lavender. It's truly, it's truly magical. It's 50 pounds for the 30 ml bottle, but it's very special. Finally, I want to talk about my favorite floral from the Jo Malone Cologne Intense Collection. I feel like a lot of people think I would go for Rose and Oud, I think it is, but me, I'm all about the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I love it. It is kind of like other things apart from just floral. It does have the Black Orchid in it, but it has also got incense, it's got cardamom, it's got some spice, it's got some kind of sweetness of resins, it's really 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 special but i think at the heart of it is that kind of very much like that night blooming floral it's so pretty it's really rich it's really intense it's really like exotic and special and eveningy and i just think it's perfect it is a little bit more money i think it's around 114 pounds for the bottle whereas the 30 mils are 50 pounds and the classic 100 mils of the clone normal ones are 98 so this one is about 20 pounds more but i think it's beautiful i love that kind of that dark richness night blooming -y, just magical dark amber and ginger lilyness of it i just think it's gorgeous it's so unique i can literally walk past people in the street and be like Are you wearing dark amber and ginger lily because it's so distinctive and special and there's literally nothing like it I think it's beautiful. It's such a favorite of mine. I know there are other florals in the Jo Malone Cologne Intense and the Classic Collections, but I truly think these ones are five you need to try. And I think they're a really good representation of like the richness of red roses, softness of the wisteria and lavender, and then the richness and the headiness and the sexiness of the dark amber and ginger lily. For me, these five florals are kind of all the florals I need. I think they're gorgeous and I really love them all. And I feel like if you're new to Jo Malone and you love a floral fragrance, definitely look out for these five. And also if you are new to Jo Malone and you really wanna kind of get into the brand, but you don't know how, I would just say go into the store, have a sniff around. All their sales consultants are so lovely. They are non-pushy. So if you do just wanna try and not buy, don't worry, just do it. They'll talk you through everything and they'll have a really nice time with you and you might even get a hand and arm massage, but you won't be pushed into buying anything that you don't want to buy. But yeah, that is kind of my video. Love Jo Malone, I wanted to share it with you. I hope it's of help. If you have any questions, please do let me know. I'm always, always, always happy to chat Jo Malone. I'm always happy to chat in general. I love to talk to people. I will reply to every comment and um, apparently a lot of people don't, which is, really weird <laughs> like why would you not reply if you're gonna put videos on the internet you really should reply to people when they message you anyway that's that's another video for another day my friends so that is my video i hope it's of help do ask me if you have any questions chat to me about some joe malone i am here for the chat <laughs> anyway thank you very much hopefully i'll see you again soon goodbye <laughs>